Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to PCTM, to your pop culture, time machine, your favorite old school show. If we're talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger, we're talking about one of the biggest action movie stars of all time. Who would have thought that this funny talking Austrian guy actually would become such an icon? He's one of my favorite actors, which is why I'm gonna rank my top five Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. All right, so let's go. All right, how better to start off your list with a movie that shocks everybody? So my number five is The Running Man. Yes, the 1987 classic, a movie that many fans seem to forget. Arnold Schwarzenegger is playing Ben Richards, a former military man who was falsely convicted, who then has to participate in a game show to win back his life. This movie is not only a classic action movie, but also one of his best movies, definitely. It has a 6.7 rating on IMDb, and as I mentioned earlier, wasn't a big blockbuster hit. On a budget of $27 million, it only made back $38 million in the US. Still, if you're looking for a great action movie, with this movie you can't do nothing wrong. On your marks, get set. Killian, I'll be back. Only in a rerun. Running Man is based on a book, even though they're a little bit different. But that movie always used to be one of my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, and I know it's probably not the best, but in some way, somehow, I just enjoyed that movie so much. I just love the theme. And the next movie on my list, so number four, is Total Recall. Also a 1990 classic with a 7.5 rating on IMDb, so still very, very popular. The movie was shot by Paul Van Hoven, who was also in charge of the Robocop movie, at least the first one, and it was definitely a great science fiction director. In this movie, Arnold Schwarzenegger plays Quaid, who in the beginning seems like an everyday man, and I don't want to spoil the movie, it turns out he's definitely more. If we're talking about one of the best science fiction movies of all time, the original Total Recall should definitely be on your list. And do me a favor, don't watch the reboot, don't waste your time. If you haven't seen the first one, now you got some homework to do. Certainly a different Arnold Schwarzenegger on the screen. Is that your opinion up there? Well, it is different uh, because it's really the first time I had a chance to have to play uh, two people in one film, to play the evil guy and to play the good guy, and on the end to have this struggle and fight one against the other. And then, you know, the love story in there, the double love story with a deprogrammed kind of a memory and with the, the memory that I had and all this. It's a, it's a very interesting and a very hip story and a hip movie. And like a lot of the critics say, it's a roller coaster ride from the beginning to the end. It's like Star Wars. Raiders of the Lost Ark and Batman all in one movie and that's exactly what it is and that's why there's such an excitement all over the country about this movie. What did you think of that film? Well, I really enjoyed it. You know, I had my brain stolen a couple of years ago so I can I can really relate to the Arnold character. You think it's a new thing for Arnold? I mean, you know, a little different from what he's done before. Yeah, that, that movie where he had his bike stolen and he had to spend the whole movie looking for it. This is a little different from that, yeah. I would say that, that you've never seen a movie like it. I mean, the special effects are, are to die from, literally. <laughs> yeah, I think it's something different than anything we've ever seen. Uh, I mean, I got to tell you, you know, action picture, action picture, but it's like being on a roller coaster ride. It really is. And it's a hell of a ride. I'm not kidding you, and, uh, and Arnold's bad, I gotta say it. <laughs> it was really good, really enjoyed it. Oh, it's action, roller coaster, <laughs> excitement, I mean, it's great, great, great. 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 Yeah, this is some movie. What about it? different for Arnold? I don't know about it different, but a lot of action. You know, I thought all this movie action. What's different about it? And the next movie on my list, so coming in at number three, is the original Terminator movie from the year 1984. 
James Cameron's original masterpiece. A movie that started off an entire franchise even until today with another great movie, but more on that later. A movie with a great cast that includes Linda Hamilton and Michael Bean. A movie with a great plot, great music, a sensational and really intimidating Arnold Schwarzenegger. A movie with an 8.0 rating on IMDb. What else can you say? One of the best movies of all time. Can you believe it? That movie actually only had a budget of $6.4 million, bringing back $78 million. And I know it was the year 1984, but only having a budget of $6.4 million and making such a great movie, I feel like a couple of movie production companies and directors should have taken some lessons from that movie. Sarah Connor. Once again, Sarah Connor, 35, mother of two, brutally shot to death in her home this afternoon. You're dead, honey. Two hours ago, 35-year-old Sarah Ann Connor was pronounced dead at the scene in her Santa Monica apartment. We Sarah sure. Louise Connor was slain Don't by a lone gunman earlier today in her home. Now, police are refusing to speculate on the apparent similarity between these shooting deaths. Come with me if you want to live. How could that man just get up after you did? Not a man. Machine. Terminator. Cyber 9 Systems Model 101. The Terminator is an infiltration unit. Part man, part machine. Underneath is a hyper alloy combat chassis. Microprocessor controlled. Fully armored. Very tough. But outside, it's living human tissue. That Terminator is out there. It can't be bargained with. It can't be reasoned with. It doesn't feel pity or remorse or fear. And it absolutely will not stop. Ever. Until you are dead. And the next movie on my list, so coming in at position number two, is Predator. I gotta admit, I watched that movie in the year 2002 for the first time, so pretty damn late, but still I got so much love for that movie. An action-packed science fiction horror movie with the man of all men, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jesse Ventura, Carl Weathers and Bill Duke. What else can you ask for? The movie was shot in 1987 with a budget of $50 million, being a worldwide sensation, bringing back in $160 million. The original Predator movie has to be one of the best action movies of all time. I mean, the combination of action, horror, and one-liners is just incredible. Stinking shit out of my face. Bunch of slack-jawed faggots around here. This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Just like me. Yeah, strap this on your sore-ass plane. <laughs> all right, so let's get to the number one pole position. Terminator 2, what else could it be? This movie right here is a true masterpiece, and to me, I gotta be honest, probably the best action movie of all time. Shot in the year 1991 on a budget of $102 million, which was the most expensive movie at the time, the movie brought back in $520 million, which was incredible at that time. The movie has an 8.5 rating on IMDb with over 800,000 people voting, so this is incredible. And also well-deserved and definitely the best Arnold Schwarzenegger movie of all time, period. All right, you guys, that was my top five movie list of Arnold Schwarzenegger. If you have a different opinion, please feel free to post it in the comments below, and I hope to see you guys next time. Peace until then. Run! Go! This is the chopper!